Welcome back to another Bakking tutorial. Today we're going to make our lights flicker. So if you have like a campfire, it's going to be flickering and also the player light can flicker when you have it on. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so let's add our campfire. We're going to go to resources. We are going to add a 3D stamp here and I'm going to select from the map collection. And if you go right here, you can type in just fire and it pops up with a bonfire looking thing. So I'm going to add this to our models here. And then with this model, I'm going to pull this over and add a subgraphic. And now we're going to add a subgraphic of a particle, the fire particle. And when we add it, this is going to look interesting because it looks like it's going to be in the right position to add the light, but it's actually not. It's still underneath this model, the way that the origin kind of is for this fire particle. And so we can't use the light associated with the particle. So we're going to add another subgraphic. We're going to leave it blank. And we are going to only use the light that it comes with it. And then I'm going to turn that on. We're going to give it a color. I'll just use this an orange color that's on my history here. And then we're going to give it an intensity of, let's just say, a four for this one. And then the only other thing that we want to do is make sure that we raise it up a little bit. We want to raise it up, let's just say 0.3. See how that looks. Something where the light is actually starting to shine. So maybe 0.4, see how that looks. Okay, that looks good. And so we have sub one and sub two. Sub two is the light only. And so now let's just place this on the scene here. And there we go. So when we play test here, we have a nice and static light for this campfire. So now let's add the flicker to it. So for that, we're gonna go back into resources in the subgraphics area, and we need to add another one. Now, well, I'm just gonna simply select sub two, I'm going to copy and paste it. That way we get the height that we want. And you can also adjust this height as well. This is going to be the one that it changes to to create the, the flicker look. And so all we really wanna do on it is just change the light. Let's just say we put the intensity down a little bit, maybe 3.9, and then let's just reduce the radius a little bit, like 4.7. And maybe we need to get a little more dramatic to see it. So let's bring that down to dot seven as well. And we're going to keep the color the same. That went to a completely different number here. Let me uh, change that to what was this four? This one will be three dot seven. Okay. And hopefully it will take that. All right. So now we want to start to juggle between these two sizes. So first, let's go to our campfire here and make it into a custom event. And this is going to be a parallel process. And what it's going to be doing is it's just going to be switching in between those subgraphics. So the first one that we want to do is we'll go to events, we'll grab this uh, subgraphic state, we want event or we want the first subgraphic to be showing always so we don't ever want to touch that because the first one is the particle of the fire. The next one is the the bigger sized light so we'll just say on this first one the big size light is visible but we also have to specify that the other one is not visible and the reason why is because this is going to be repeating so that's how we need to set this up here so two is off or sorry two is on three is off and then we're just going to add a brief wait just a little amount of time here so 0 0.05 if it takes it I can't remember okay so it does and then we can simply go to text here I'm going to select these copy them go I'm going to click on end event and paste them so it goes above and then I'll go back to panel and then we'll turn this one hide and we'll turn this one visible now the last thing to do is to copy this weight and to paste it and that way this should be looping so if we play test this, it should be causing a flicker. Now this might be a little dramatic. You might want a little more time weight. Let's see what a little more time weight looks like. But you kind of get the idea. So yeah, when I click on it, it goes to 0 0.1. So, or maybe it just doesn't show it. Okay, so 0 0.1, 0 0.1. This engine's still early access. So there are a few little crazies about it, but. There we go, a much more slower, and you, you might want to go slower than that. But that's how you would cause a flicker to happen on, say, a campfire like that. 
or a candle or something like that. So now we can real quickly add this logic to the player by clicking on resources, going back here. I'm just gonna select this subroot one, click copy paste, and now we have a subroot two. And all we're gonna do on this, if, if it glitches, make sure you minimize and maximize this. That's how you can get the, the local light tab back. Again, early access. I'm just gonna change this to 2.3 and 5.3. And that's all we need to do to set up our second light for the flicker. Then in our common event here in the light manager, we're going to make this be repeat in parallel. And then we're going to make sure that we set this up the same way. So the first one we want to hide and then we'll uh, copy this one, paste this one. This one is going to be two. We want to be visible. This one is going to be one we want to be visible. And then this one is going to be two we want to hide. And we just want to make sure that we're adding a weight. Do a weight of 0.1. And then we can copy this. The copy shortcuts are a little weird. You right click and then press C. And then on the plus, you right click and press P. So just in case you didn't know that, it took me a little bit. Then I'll hit OK, and that should be all that we need. The player light should be flickering now. And you don't have to have this be a static number either. You can have this be a variable that is constantly getting refreshed as a random number. You can have, you can add a third light that goes a little larger, and then you could repeat this a couple times and then do the larger one that looks like a bigger flicker every once in a while. There's so many different ways that you can make this flicker your own, but this was just the basic concept. And I felt it deserved a video. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Like, subscribe if you like to see more Bakken content. Consider a donation to Patreon to help support this channel. Any questions, comments below. Steam forms will get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.